If you didn't see my video about The Weekend Sunrise's pathetic interview of Red Pill director Cassie J, here's a really quick recap. And, you know, it's a very complicated uh, topic when it, looking it, at it men's is. issues. It is, you're absolutely right. But mm -hmm. it just seems to me that you don't really question their views in the Did film. Did you see the film? Well, we, we saw as much as we could because your publicist wouldn't send us the full... You haven't seen the film, have you, Andrew? Thing, I, sent, but... I, sent you the I sent you the screener link, yeah, actually, to the full night. film. OK, so it's gone from your publicist wouldn't send the full film to you sent it to us at 9 o'clock last night, so we didn't have time to watch it. Uh, but So we watched as much as we could, yeah. But, but You could also buy the film on Google Play, no, Vimeo, and, and we, we tried to do that and we Be couldn't. that as it may. OK, so now you tried to buy it on Google Play, but you couldn't. Let's see. Google Play, the red pill. Bang. Yep, works perfectly. Just like last time I watched it. Just like when many, many people I know watched it. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. You're incompetent and dishonest. And to top it off, you're incredibly arrogant. To think that you could pick apart this documentary in an interview with the fucking director without having seen it is unbelievable. So it turns out the 109 odd thousand of you who did see it weren't particularly happy with the interviewing style of the two douchebag presenters on Weekend Sunrise. Quite a few of you found your way to their Facebook page to tell them about it. And by the time their post accumulated around 160 comments, mostly expressing support for Cassie, they decided to delete the post. Because lazy, dishonest journalism goes really well with deleting your audience's feedback and trying to cover up any negative attention. But even deleting the post didn't stop people from sharing their thoughts. The comments just found their way onto unrelated posts. And from what I saw, most were bang on point. The Australian TV show Sunrise has deleted the interview they did with filmmaker Cassie J from their Facebook page, including the 161 comments below the post which overwhelmingly showed support for Cassie. So Sunrise, you're trying to tell the viewing public that a major television network with millions of dollars at your disposal can't manage to download the Red Pill documentary off Google Play, and your morning hosts then try to make excuses for it? Tell us again why we, the viewing public, should place our trust in you? Why did the hosts of Sunrise not watch the Red Pill before interviewing Cassie J, the director? Sloppy journalism and narrow-mindedness. The Red Pill. Watch it, Australia. Well done, Cassie. Let's protect our young boys and adult males having to put up with family violence and the propaganda spread by many feminists, many mothers and partners. Care to explain why you deleted your interview about the Red Pill movie? Also, I thought you guys were all for women. Not very feminist of you guys to silence a woman's opinion. Now remember the pathetic excuses they tried to use for not having watched the documentary? First they said Cassie's publicist wouldn't send them the full movie. We, we saw as much as we could because your publicist wouldn't send us the full thing. I then they said Cassie sent them the movie at 9 o'clock the night before the interview. I sent you the screener link yeah, actually to the full night. film. Then they said they weren't able to download it from Google Play. But you could also buy the film on Google Play, no, Vimeo, and, and we, we, we tried to do that and we Be couldn't. that as it may. Well have a fucking go at this. Cassie goes digging through her emails and confirms on Twitter today that the movie was in fact sent to the Sunrise team on the 9th of May by her publicist then again on the 7th of June by her assistant, then again on the 10th of June by Cassie herself. Wow, Sunrise, you really are a bunch of incompetent motherfuckers. Now, I'd like to make it very clear that I am in no way suggesting that you should go to the Sunrise Facebook page and leave a comment. In fact, I request that you don't do that. Having said that, what you do is your business. I'm not your fucking dad. I, I don't think. Anyway, I'll see you later. Cheerio.